we are on the Kanta River right now. This is one of the branches of the Mekong River. It's on, not only um, one of the uh, main traffic way for Kanta City. Many people live uh, alongside the river, making a living uh, on the river. Sống uh, Cần uh, Thơ năm nay là uh, 6, uh, 10 năm. Uh, tình hình uh, ngày xưa gác thải thì uh, nói chung ra nước thì nó vẫn không có bị ô nhiễm, nó sạch. Hiện nay thì bây giờ gác uh, thải thì quá chất rồi nó xuống quá trời, thành thử uh, cái nước, nó, nguồn nước nó bị ô nhiễm. Uh, tôi uh, đã làm nghề thả lưới trên sông này là hai mấy năm rồi, tôi thấy bây giờ gác cái với bọc ni lông gác thải trên sông này thả giờ càng ngày càng quá trời nhiều, viết ô nhiễm môi trường quá trời. Interceptor 003, the last of the uh, Generation 2 interceptors to be assembled and installed uh, following Malaysia and the Dominican Republic. But 003, yeah, just took a long time to get things through customs. COVID was the, the biggest impact. We get a great cooperation from the local people. It's really nice to see that they're so enthusiastic about the project and that they're also really thinking along with us. It's, it's not possible for us in Rotterdam in our office to know what is best for every location. So it's great that we get input from local partners. Ở làm cái nghề này năm 85 là về môi trường. 85 tới giờ là coi như là gác bờ lẫn sông. Today is a very important day because it marks the first day of the Interceptor 003 it officially goes into operating. It's so good to see it working. Through Tet Holiday, we filled the system with 7.2 tons of waste in two days. We expect to not do it as quickly as that very often, but that just goes to show that under the right conditions, yeah, we can, even with our little pocket on the river, we can collect that much trash in two days. We have the stakeholders now. We know, we know the hurdles. So yeah, we're exploring what's on the horizon for for more cleanup projects in Vietnam. <laughs>